Pupils, welcome. And this is Agriculture Grade 4. So I want to welcome all pupils back at home to this lesson, Agriculture Grade 4. And our lesson is going to talk about growing fruit trees. Growing fruit trees. Before we talk of growing fruit trees, let us first get the meaning of the term fruit. Because we, we may be eating fruits, but we don't know the meaning of the word fruit. So, uh, what is a fruit? What is a fruit? If someone was to ask you, what is a fruit? What are you going to say? Some will say a fruit is an apple. A fruit is a pineapple. No, that's not the definition of a fruit. So, a fruit is a sweet or sour or bitter and fleshy product of a tree or other plant. So, this product of a other plant or a tree is fleshy. Fleshy means it has that part that we eat. The part that we eat is fleshy. And that part might be bitter, sour, or sweet. Then a fruit contains seed, a seed or seeds and can be eaten as food. Remember, most of the fruits are eaten raw. Most of the fruits we eat are raw. And raw means we eat them without cooking. We eat them without cooking. That is the meaning of the word raw. Then examples of fruits. There are so many examples of fruits or many types of fruits, but we're only going to mention some few that we are able to get for today. We have apples, we have bananas, grapes, lemons, oranges, strawberries, etc. Then most of these fruits are eaten raw. This means we don't have to cook them, as I said. We don't have to cook these fruits. We need to eat them raw, but we need to wash them using clean water. The water that we use to, clean, to wash these fruits should be clean. It should be clean water, and you make sure that you wash them properly so that you can kill germs because they come from different places. Many people have touched them. They have come from different plants and, and uh, other trees. And they may be having or carrying germs with them. So you need to wash them using clean water. That is good hygiene. Then someone may be asking, where are we going to get these uh, fruits? Before you get a fruit, you need to get the seeds. So that you grow the seeds on the farm. Then if you are a farmer, that is, I'm not saying that all of you are, uh, have to grow uh, uh, seed or fruit seeds on your farm but only if you are a farmer. And remember, you are able to get those fruits because a farmer somewhere did what they did by growing those fruit seeds on their farm so as you can be able to get those fruits on at your home or on the market. So your parents are bringing those fruits into your houses because they went to the market or to the shops and they bought those fruits back to your home. And remember, that is the work of a what? A farmer somewhere so where do we get these seeds or where do farmers get seeds from that may be your question where do these farmers get their the seeds for these fruits some farmers go to the natural forest to collect the seeds from the natural forest you are able to get the seeds or from a nearby bush so if you are a farmer that's what you're supposed to do go to the natural forests or nearby bush and be able to get the type of fruit seeds that you need to grow back to your or back on your farm you can also visit the local nurseries whereby you're going to get the seedlings then you're going to gar uh, to go with those or carry those seedlings back to your home and grow them on your farm when they grow up, they will produce the type of fruits that you need to eat. Then from the local market, 
you can also visit a local market whereby people have eaten different types of fruits they have thrown away the seeds uh, from the compost uh, the compost sites you go there you visit you try to collect some of the seeds that you need for the, the type of trees that you need that is also uh, one way of getting those fruit seeds or from the farms nearby you can visit a farm if you are a farmer from a natural seed fall that is from a natural seed fall you can visit there on the farm where by we have the fruit trees and on the ground you're going to be able to get these seeds that are fallen on their own without someone falling them so they got tired of holding themselves on the trees on the trip branches then they fall down on the ground now you can uh, be able to collect those seeds and go home with them grow them on your farm then we can also get these uh, fruit seeds by shaking the tree we can shake the trees to fall fruits and get the seeds when you shake the trees to get uh, to 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 fall fruits you're also going to be able to get the seeds so you shake the trees uh, uh, hardly so that the fruits can fall down then if you eat the fruits if they are ready to be eaten remember you you need to wash them first then after eating you preserve those seeds for the next uh, plantation or for the next growing on your farm then climbing up trees to collect fruits and uh, here i'm not telling people to climb trees i'm only telling those uh, this is only going to the uh, sp uh, special uh, farmers those people that are able to do this kind of farming so we can get the seeds by climbing up the trees and get the fruit seeds so when you get to the up when you climb up to the trees you take out the fruits uh, the fruit seeds then you're going to be able to grow for the next plantation or for the next planting in your farm uh, how to make a tree nursery or making a tree nursery there are two types of tree nurseries as we're going to see so a tree nursery should be or where should it be it should be on a gentle sloping bed it should be a gentle sloping bed on an area with fertile soils so when you're making a um, a tree nursery bed it should be sloping nursery bed it should be sloping sloping means uh, at least it can allow water to flow from the higher level to the lower part of it and the soils for growing uh, or making tree nursery beds should be fertile soils the area should not have any shed that is no trees no buildings near your tree nursery bed there should be no trees or buildings near your tree nursery bed to allow free uh, rain water free light direct or direct sunlight from the sky so that the seedlings can grow or they can uh, allow good or proper germination to take place we can make nursery beds on the ground soil or we can also use containers so there are two types of tree nursery beds so we can make two types of nursery beds that is ground nursery beds when you talk of the ground nursery beds these are the this is where you go to the uh, to the farm you you dig some soil properly you level the soil sloping on, on the sloping level then you plant your seeds in that bed that is a tree nursery bed in a square or a rectangular form then you can also have some containers put in soil and put in some seeds and water enough water to allow germination those are two types of nursery beds so we have two types of nursery beds the first one is ground nursery bed and the second one is a container nursery bed now after getting these fruits on the market on your farm what are the benefits for us to eat fruits someone may be asking why should i eat fruits the benefits are here you can see them on the screen 
we have different types of fruits and their importance now the importance from these fruits you are seeing on your on your mobile phone screen they are the ones that make us go looking for these types of fruits look at them read and put them in your mind you can see them from there you have the orange you have the the what the sweet melon you also have those uh, grapes there you have so many types of fruits as you can see the bananas are there the apple is there uh, you can see the pineapple the orange the strawberries the melon and so on so these are the types of uh, fruits that we need to eat daily so that we can make our health uh, our body healthy importance of eating fruits daily <coughs> importance of eating fruits daily so from what we've gone through it is important that you need to eat, take or eat fruits daily as from what you have seen just from the last or the second last slide from the slide the previous slide you have seen that you have to eat fruits they are important so it is important to know that we need to eat fruits every day that is what you need to know at least each and each and every day try to get a fruit and uh, this helps in digestion of food we eat and also fighting diseases such as cancer eye problems and many many more other diseases that can attack our bodies so you go through the fruits that we've talked about check on the importance of or, or how does the fruit support your body in terms of health and that is it then science states we need to eat fruits in between our meals that is science from the scientists they studied and they came up with a conclusion or a, a observation that at least each and every human being should be able to eat at least a fruit in between their meals before you eat your meal at least some minutes to your meal whether it's break uh, break uh, fast meal lunchtime meal or evening meal that is dinner or supper at least you need to take a fruit some minutes to or an hour or some minutes to your meal so this means that the first thing in the morning before lunch and before dinner or supper up to that point pupils i don't have much to let you know for now till our next lesson then we are going to talk more about that god willing